Welcome back folks, thanks for being here. This is Steve, KM9G, and we are working on the QCX Mini. Today we're gonna put on some more toroids. We'll fast forward through all of that because we already did a toroid video in the very beginning of this project. It's gonna be linked up above. Um, we're gonna do the, what, what are we doing? We're gonna do the BNC jack, we're gonna do the audio jacks, maybe a couple of other little parts here and there. Making some progress on this thing. We're getting close to having this thing all done and ready to roll. So stick around and let's see how far we get in this one. Oh, and uh, right below here, there are a whole bunch of buttons and things. I'd be really happy if you, if you clicked them. That would be cool. See you after the break. All right, I know you have all been waiting for this moment. It's toroid winding time. And before I get into winding toroids, I'm gonna clean up some of these solder legs on my desk. Save them for later. And it is L4. And L4 is a T37-2. And I need some magnet wire. So that is what is left over from the last time. And again, this is the 20 meter rig. And so I need 10 turns through the core. And he recommends two to three centimeters of leftover centimeters. Yep, two or three centimeters left over on the outside. So let's go up over and down. And that is one turn. Done and done. And then you just wanna try and get these evenly spaced. And then it goes on to L4. So we put the inside lead through the inside hole and the outside lead through the outside hole. And I'm going to tape that down again, like we did on the last time, to make sure that's nice and flat. And you should dwell on this with your soldering iron for at least 10 seconds. And I mean count it out in your head, because it's going to feel like an eternity. And you'll almost be able to see the change when the enamel has melted off. There it goes. Let's see if we can zoom in on this for the next round. And watch, all you'll get is a picture of the back of my head. All right, let's try that. Okay, so I'm gonna put my soldering iron down on the part, get some solder in there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there it goes. All right, so flush cutters to cut, tape off meter out and it works awesome nothing to worry about okay more toroids yay toroids not bad at all on that one okay so again I have the 20 meter low pass filter, the 20 meter rig, and I looked at the directions, and in the directions, all three of these toroids for all three bands is, are identical. So in my case, these are 
T37-6. Um, and that is true for 17, 20, 30, and 40. And then the 60 meter and the 80 meter are T37-2 variants. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use up my old magnet wire first and leave that sitting there for last. And this is toroid L2 and L2 wants 17 turns and L2 gets what L2 wants. So we'll put these other two away for later and this is 17 turns. So there is turn one and we're just gonna speed right on through all three of these. So hold on to your horses, folks. All right, starting to get dark. That means we need to apply power. Next up is the power connector. So cat, PTT, RF, paddle, earphones. The only one left is power. That must be the one. This is a physical interface, human interface. And so they're gonna be big holes with rooms for a lot, rooms, <laughs> rooms for lots and lots Lots of, of solders is, and that's what you want to put in there is lots and lots of solders is. So I'm going to tape this in place so I don't need to worry about holding it down. And then we are going to put lots and lots of solders is on it. I am probably being way more paranoid about this than I should be because he mentions in the documents a lot of places where case is very tight and there's not a whole lot of room etc etc so I am probably just being way over paranoid about this way more than I should be looks like it'll be okay and if not I will get another piece and put another one on there but we'll find out when we cross that bridge won't we All right, looks good. What's next? The BNC connector. And you can optionally put on a SMA connector, which is not supplied. And he says the BNC connector must be flat and flush and square and all that jazz. And there is a nut and a washer. I'm gonna remove those, there's a flat on the top and on the bottom. So it will sit flat, flush on the board just like that. Let's get our tape out again. All right, that looks good. The goal that I was going for was to get just enough on there to hold it in place. All right, looks good. And these are the entire outside of the BNC connector needs to get warm because that's what you're soldering to. And there's four different places to go. Plus it is the entire ground plane of the circuit board that you are working on. So there's a lot of stuff here to absorb heat. And then the center pin is last. And the center pin's a lot easier because it's not connected to the ground plane. And then we get in there and we check the center pin to make sure that it's not connected to any of the outside parts. That was because I touched it myself with my own hand. Okay, and then we check the outside parts. And they're connected to ground all over the board, like they should be. So, there are a couple of extra pins, a couple of extra holes on here, and those are for the chassis mount 
SMA connector. And so I did a little solder bridge here and here and that's perfectly okay because those would be connected to ground on the SMA connector instead of on the BNC connector. And you can feel the weight of the BNC connector on there now. Excellent. Next up is the audio jacks. And in the manual, it says these guys have a tendency to turn sideways on you. There are four audio jacks. Let's see if we can get them all to sit in nice and neat and happy or not. Those two don't really have any choice, but I can tell that this one is a little crooked compared to the other one. Let's take a look at these two. These two look really good. I am going to take these two off so they don't get in my way, and I'm going to put the other two on that are trapped. And worst case scenario with this, you can use some solder wick, heat it up, and reflow the solder, and get it to uh, become in alignment or you can widen the hole on the case. So there's a couple of different things you can do after you put this on to solve the problem if it's still not happy for you. So we will move forward, make some progress, and solve whatever problem comes up later. Okay, that's all good. These are some pretty big pads. And so what I wound up doing was heating up both sides of the pad at the same time. I'm gonna put these ones on. So what I'm gonna do with this one here that's a little loose is I'm gonna tack one side down and then I can move it around to be in the position that I want. So we will tape it in place just to hold it when we turn it upside down. And I'll get one of each pin on. And this top one is still crooked. And if he wouldn't have said anything in the manual, I wouldn't be all that concerned about it. And that's a piece of hot metal. So now I'm going to try and find a way to make that thing move without heating myself up too much. Well, that got worse. Okay, overall I'd say that looks pretty good. Okay, that is it for the main radio board. We will have to continue to install some other things. All right, that was not too bad. Looks like it was uh, nothing but jacks this time. But we're making progress and we are moving forward. Next up is going to be all of the daughter boards that go on top of the main board. Um, he's, really, he's really adamant in the manual about making sure that stuff gets lined up. So I was really careful and I think that's all you need to do. I think you just need to be careful and it will be fine and don't worry about it if you are a little off it can be fixed um, I didn't have to worry about fixing anything but I like I said I was being extra careful I was probably being more careful than was necessary but being more careful is easier than going back and fixing the problem like I tell my kids all the time you can't do it wrong faster than you can do it right so patience is your best friend for this part of the journey and I guess it was for all the toroids too um, so if you wanted to see how the toroids were done again that video is linked up above otherwise there is a playlist for these which is also conveniently put up above and down below in the description and thanks for being awesome <laughs>